All right, so I'm working on something uh, I think is really cool. So I've been using <clears throat> Fami Tracker, which is a music program for the NES. I am not really familiar with it in terms of the long term. I only just picked it up. Uh, I used to use MML, which is like a coding language almost, but um, I've recently um, realized that the sample channel of the NES has a loop mode. And naturally, I wanted to try to get um, actual constant tones out of it. But there's massive, massive limitations um, that the NES has to make you work through. So looping a, s a sound isn't as simple as just here's a waveform, loop it indefinitely, and it's a proper pitch, pitch for the 12 tone equal temperament scale. But <clears throat> basically, I have to do a bunch of crazy calculations instead because the bite sizes, <coughs> excuse me, the bite sizes for the, D the, DP the DPCM sample lengths are fixed. And um, the volume is a, a constraint, and the, f the sample rate that it plays at is all a constraint. So I have um, tried to code the solution. Um, I have this calculator that I've been working on all week, and it's helping me generate um, everything I need, basically. So I have um, approximated certain frequencies from the scale. And it's, te it's telling me what bite sizes I need and how many waves within that bite size will closely approximate those pitches. Um, I have uh, basically this set is 11 unique files and it only takes up 731 bytes, which is great. This actually extends to a upper register that isn't very useful for bass, so it can actually get smaller than this. So if you were to only go from like note C1 to like D3 or C3 or instead of the full like fourth octave um, you could get these bite sizes down a lot more uh, but then it generates just the the data for these um, samples I cut and paste them out of this console uh, put them into some uh, hex files <clears throat> and then you just uh, load them up into FamiTracker and correspond each of the the sample rates so the NES has 15 sample rates, so um, each one of these 11 files at different sample rates will give you different pitches. Um, I've, I've been rambling quite a bit. I just kind of want to show you what I've been working on. Now, this isn't like a song or anything. This is just me, um, like a proof of concept to try to make sure the pitches are all in tune, in key, and actually usable. Enjoy. That is it.